this is Alexia from TechCrunch, and I am interviewing Manpax and Snapet, and they are two sides of the same coin here. This was the most programmy startup <laughs> at 500 Startups Demo Day, and for those of you that don't know, programming is kind of like a hyper-masculine programming, and I don't think you get any more masculine than man packs, which is like, they're like a foodsie for men supplies, which include the underwear, condoms, shirts, shirt, socks, socks chips, chips, Cheetos, and then we've got the Snapette, which is like a food spotting for fashion, or as they like to call themselves, uh, food spotting is a Snapette for food. And they're what is known as proglammy, which is uh, kind of like a hyper feminine kind of programming uh, or, or startup type. And I thought it might be nice to put you guys together because I don't think that either of your startups were ap appreciated fully by the entire room because they were so hyper gender focused. So let's start with uh, go around and introduce yourselves. This is going to be hard. I'm Ken Johnson. I'm CEO and co-founder of Manpax. Uh, Andrew Draper, uh, CTO of Manpax. Hi, I'm Jinhee Kim, co-founder for Snapbet. And I'm Sarah Paiji, co-founder for Snapbet. So uh, what, made, what led you to focus on something that's so women-driven as fashion? I don't, it's hard for men to get into this. Yeah, absolutely. I think we definitely saw a lot of opportunity in the space to focus just on women. I think you know, e-commerce as it stands today uh, is very much so you know, by men for men. You, know, you kind of need to know what you're looking for. It's you know, we're very search-driven or filters, but a lot of times for women it is you, know, you don't know what you want until you see it. And so a lot about our app is about discovery and you know browsing and you know potentially bumping into something that you might like and additional to that finding something that's actually near you that you can actually go out and buy. So how does Snapbet work? So how Snapbet works is um, let's say that you're out um, in a store and you see something cute you can snap a photo of it and upload it to the app whereby then another user can browse um, by what's popular, what's new, um, or what's near her. Um, you can tap on any photo to get more details such as the brand um, price, location, get a map to the store. Um, you can also follow other users to get updated on th their latest fashion finds. Uh, is anyone else doing anything similar? Uh, there's one other app that's doing um, also sort of photos of fashion store them? products. You know, so there's, there's fascism, which is more outfit reviews. So this is more crowdsourcing reviews on something that you might want to wear out that day. Um, it's not you know products that are in stores that you can go out and buy. Um, Pose is another app that's also doing in-store products. I think you know how we differentiate is we have this near function, so you can actually search products that are around you. So how do you plan on monetizing? Um, should I take this one as well? <laughs> I think there's a there's a lot of interesting ways that you can do this. Um, one is right now you'll see that we've we're partnering with local retailers um, and we're providing them a platform um, to have mobile storefronts. And the great thing here is you know there are so many of these boutiques and consignment stores, and I love shopping at them, but you know, I'm not going to go to 30 different websites a day. So we're providing you know, a single destination um, to view products as well as promotions for all of these stores, which we think benefits both the consumer as well as the retailer. So have you made partnerships with, you have, right, like yeah. INA and then? Exactly. So we, we've partnered with 12 retailers so far um, across the country, in New York, SF, London, and um, New York, SF, London, and LA. LA. <laughs> so are they paying affiliate fees per? Uh, right now, we're, right now we're not we're not disclosing that. You're not disclosing. Yeah. Okay. So do you find it di do you find it difficult to to do something that's so like leaning? Because I know that guys are into fashion too, but I don't I don't know if any of the because it's all about branding and marketing. I don't know if the any of the fashion forward guys that I know would necessarily partake in something like Snapchat, eh? because I don't think guys are that social about fashion. Yeah, I, I, think, I, think, that's, I think that's right, because the way men shop is very different from the way women shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, you guys, are, you guys send people like a brown bag full of like <laughs> discreet, <laughs> discreet yeah. supplies yeah. that they need, and, like nothing, not glamorous, not, glamorous, yeah. not status -y. Uh, <laughs> Whereas we're, girls are just dressing for each other at this point, yeah, like no, no guys, exactly yeah. right. like who made your dress? Uh, who made, oh, sorry, this, this is Jaker. Okay, mm, still good. 
Uh, <laughs> see, but, uh, see that judgment? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, we had to keep it simple. We didn't want to overwhelm the crowd. Right. And, and then like, women also crazy. like to share with other women what they bought or if they got it on sale. Don't you Gabbana Premium Outlet, Las Vegas? You know, I got it's it like 75% like off. Yes. <laughs> I want all my friends to know that. Yeah. So it's 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 really it's, 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 different. it's really yeah. different. Whereas who made your shirts? I don't even were um, those made by somebody. I think it was Threadbird, I think, printed these. Yeah, it's probably like Gilgen or Haynes or something. <laughs> I think they're Gilgen, yeah. So what do you guys do? So you're the opposite. You're in, I'm in theory or in concept. In, yeah. 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 we we simplify the shopping experience <laughs> for the modern man. Yeah, well, they're so complicating it. They're like, sh make sure that you show us everything about shopping. Yeah, so you can like. Yeah, we try to curate, simplify, <laughs> and get the choices out of the way and make life simpler for the guy, the busy man, that just you know, never prioritizes buying underwear, shirts, socks, or shaving products, anything that kind of keeps him clean in his life. I'm surprised it wasn't called man sacks. That would be, <laughs> was man sacks taken? I have heard a brand of underwear. <laughs> Alright, so how does man packs work? So we're uh, essentially a subscription service that allows you to pick out items that will ship to you every three months. We'll remind you a week before your shipment so you can change your shipment. But we you know, just optimize your life so that you never have to shop again unless you really want to. And then we make it really simply simple if you do. It's so sad. <laughs> I know. It's life without it's shopping. Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome, let me tell you. <laughs> You guys should partner up. Have you have you not thought about a merger? <laughs> I'll talk to my wife and see what she so says. So many men get dragged around. Oh yes, <laughs> totally. Well, do you find it hard that you? I'm going to ask you the same question I asked. Do you find it hard that you're doing something that's so gender focused? Like it, you're never going to be an, an, a huge crowd pleaser unless you're at a tech conference. But like. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> there were enough women here that just turned off the moment that you guys yeah. presented. Like I did. I was like, wow, who needs man pack? Right. <laughs> well, you know, I think it really helps to, to know your audience well. And like by keeping it specifically for guys, we can really come to know our customers a lot better. And the funny thing is, as I mentioned before, that 15% of our customers are actually women who are sort of outsourcing the same things that guys are looking to not think about ever. 15% of our customers are women who are signing up men. So it's really a, a top of mind service for men to shop for the things that they don't want to think about anyway. And I think that there are plenty of uh, layers on top of, uh, you know, that of our outfits that sort of breach into the more like fashion oriented decision making, you know, like, you know, the, the, if you want to wear a sport coat or like even pants, you know, but underneath all that, like these are the things that we don't really think a lot about. And so those are the things we have an automatic component for that every three months, these things are going to show up and it keeps it top of mind. So that's really nice for some guys. So you, where are you getting your inventory? Uh, we source it from from all over the place. Different vendors. We buy wholesale and we we inventory it. And, and then you just charge it. Yeah. Extra yeah. fee. So what is anyone else doing this? There's a couple of competitors kind of showing up here and there. Um, I don't think we had ever claimed to be the first to come up with the idea. I think that in conversations, every entrepreneur. Do you remember Valley Swag? Used to I don't remember. Oh, yes, actually, I do. That you could buy startup shirts and stuff. That was from. Lane Becker's. That was uh, Get Satisfaction before it was Get Satisfaction. Oh, I didn't know that. Awesome. But it would be, it would just send you a pack of swag <laughs> <laughs> in case you've left Silicon Valley and all of a sudden felt you the need. Well, I did, get a t I did get a t shirt today that means I don't have to do laundry before I fly home. I know. I, so. I, I've said that I could probably wear a startup t shirt. I mean, yeah, what, what's the need for this? Don't you think that you could just go to an event and get a t-shirt? <laughs> I suppose if you wanted to hack man facts, <laughs> you could literally just go to conferences and get t-shirts or show up at incubator demo days and just get t-shirts. But typically, startups don't have underwear to give away, just t-shirts. Would you ever expand to women? I mean, there's stuff that we need every three months or months. There every is. Month. I was saying. Uh, <laughs> the, so, <laughs> the, so, we don't like chef for either. Well, so, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't think we would. <laughs> they don't want to touch that either. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. So women prefer to see a broad catalog of items, whether Hence in store. Snap or, yeah. Exactly, which is why Snapbet yeah. really solves a problem. Whereas guys are just like, tell me what to buy. Like, I know a yeah. few key brands, but I don't really care about the brand. Like, I don't really know what's out there. Just kind of help me out. 
ship me stuff. So to go, there's certainly a subset of women that I think don't care about choice, but I think the broader mentality of the female is to, wow, did I really just do that? <laughs> the broader mentality of the female animal. I am, I, I am married, I'd like to stay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm gonna make my fit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me just check that my wife hasn't texted me yet. No, we're good. It's not live. She'll text, <laughs> exactly. She'll text you in five hours. I'll be home then when this goes live. Um, no, I mean I think that that women tend to prefer more choice, tend to actually look at the choice, and kind of the beauty of our of our model is we don't have to offer that much choice. We've curated it. Both Ken and, but either Ken or I have tried every product we sell. And so we kind of, in a weird sort of way, get behind everything we sell. Especially well, the underwear. Uh, I, hey, I'm wearing every underwear. Every single underwear. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so. I mean, <laughs> that was actually part of the pitch. Ken was actually supposed to remove his pants, but he didn't. Too many pants stuff with you, 500 startups. It, it's, yeah. well, and with us, it's easy, right? It's like, it just kind of naturally goes there. Um, no, I mean, I think that men typically don't care about the choice so by us curating and keeping a small inventory one it allows us to offer it at a much better price because we don't have to care i mean if you do a search for men's underwear on amazon you get thirty-five thousand results with us i think what you get a dozen yeah i think we have like 75 total items yeah store. so it's like it's just easier to pick from like i don't want to go through thirty-five thousand items like i'm just not that kind of guy like would you guys ever expand oh. to men, or men are allowed to go on, or what is it? What's yeah, actually, men, we've, we found mm. it was interesting. Um, some of the earlier comments were like, oh, this is, this is perfect for me to find a gift that my girlfriend would actually like. That's true. Because they're at Gosh. the mall, and they're <laughs> thinking, like, what do <laughs> I so buy for my girlfriend? <laughs> they go through the trending <laughs> stuff or find something new, you know, near. And, and the, so, so guys have said that. And we do have men um, putting up sneakers and man bags. So, you know, guys are really into their designer sneakers, their, yeah. their collectibles, so, you know, at least for the shoes. But, um, yeah, we see that, if we see fashionable guys. If you give me a nice white guys. laptop bag, I will totally buy Th it. There you go, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the use, case, the use case is go into the app, take a look at what's around, and if you want to go buy it, just press on a buy this. No, so not yet. No, not yet, but currently no. you, you see it, you press the map, you can get directions to it, and oftentimes a telephone number will come up, and you can call and see, you know, what they've got, the things that that you're interested in. But it does direct you to the store. So. And you do you have to tell the store that you're, you're hey, I found you through Snapchat, or eventually that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> so with some of our retailer partners, we have we have little mechanisms in the app to encourage you to tell the store that you've come through Snapchat. So we are running deals with some of our partners. Who? Um, for example, in, in Palo Alto, um, I think with all three stores, we currently are running sort of percentages off as well as get something special if you, if you walk into the store. Have any guys walked into a store yet? Uh, we've had people walk into stores. Guys or girls? Not, not, not guys. These are, these are <laughs> women's shoe stores. But, uh, we don't know. Maybe there's, there have been men that have run in for presents, yeah. exceptional boyfriends and husbands. You hear that? Exceptional boyfriends or husbands? You snap you that. Snap that. Don't try it alone. <laughs> Don't try to go at it alone. You, <laughs> you should yeah. download right the app right yeah. now. In preparation. You should download the yeah. app right now. I'm so screwed. <laughs>